Devada the Bounty Hunter. Look where she is. Because she's got a job over here in Far Harbor. So let's get to it. Are you lost? This is Far Harbor. We, we don't get many visitors around we here. We don't need the likes of you. We don't need no freeloaders or more help. Uh -huh. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs oh, to the whole town. Alan, such that a joy. Strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Oh boy, here we go. And we're gonna need the proper weapon for the occasion. Oh, and I think she has it. Thank you, Avery. You caring synthetic soul, you. Alright, she's got her, uh, yes, she does, cherry cola grenades. Let's do it. Ice peeled. What's going on out there? Okay. Open the gate. I've got wounded out here. There's no time. Look to the fog. They're coming. Gophers. Oh, God. Defend yourselves. Fire at will. Hey. What? Who? Ah! Got it. Luck. It's over. No, eyes on the fog. Something's coming. Ah! Look at them. You precious creatures, you. Ah! Ah! Good dog being out there on the front line. Sweet. The hull took a battering. To be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner. Shipwright. Handyman. I'm the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, besides Captain Avery. Why doesn't anyone help you? Each harborman is the captain of his own ship. Worked fine for generations on the homesteads. Your land, your rules. But when the island pushed them onto my dock, one by one, the ungrateful bastards expect me to look after my land, even though they're squatting on it like wretches. Ooh. The town's lucky you're here. You blowing smoke up my sails. <laughs> but there is... I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, mm. I need tools. Specialized tools, and they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. Hmm. So I'd be risking my life for only 450 caps? <sighs> I'm a bit short on caps. But I have old Jimmy's shotgun I can give you. Heavens no, he can't use it anymore. Oh, a shotgun in the mix, too? Got it. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get. <laughs> now get. <laughs> Always like that. Let's go see the spoils. Come on, dog of the meats. Let's see what we can grab. Uh, glass bowl, not pen. There's got to be a typewriter in here somewhere. No?
Oh, telephone. Okay, we're getting closer. We're getting warmer. On this side, they're usually gulpers and like a rad roach. You kidding me? No typewriter this time? No rad roach. What sort of sorcery is this? Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. But for your help when we needed it, you deserve this. you manage to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here yeah. forever. Yeah. The children didn't make it. Before the rat eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden the stranger with all this nonsense. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth In Refuge. In theory. Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. Thanks for the info. Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. And she runs away into the distance. All right, let's go ahead and prioritize what we've got going on here. Walk in the park, living on the edge. We had a job, and that job was to find and kill the glowing one at Eagle's Cove Tannery. Well, we've also got a job to get power tools at Eagle's Cove Tannery, which works out. So everybody else, we're just going to put them on hold. I mean, obviously, Devada would be more than glad to do jobs for all of them but they're not priority right now what is priority I'm getting over to the tannery and taking care of business so let's get past all this nonsense and what do we got her um oh I want that um lever action there it is that is one sweet weapon wait a minute let me check something here okay it's first thing in the morning too Up there. Man off? Good. Oh, 
come on, man. Where you at? Well, I guess you can, uh... She could do a little something to get his attention. You know. Like set him on fire. That usually does the trick. Got a Deathclaw hand just hanging out in this. Okay. That must be incredibly tight fit. To put that in there. Which I don't know if she has anything too cool. Yeah, those items or that meat that she just recently got. The slurry. Oh, that's right. She just got a death call hand too, didn't she? She can make a weapon out of that. Here in the chem station. Thanks to a little bit of modding. Wow, I wish you could make that big. Those things are always a nice seller. Alright, dog meat. Last time I did this with another character, I just cut through the island. somebody's attention. There he is. Ah, missed him. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Did we get through? Ah, oh, man, I hit the wrong button. She switched her weapons out. I can't remember which one was what. Ah, <laughs> uh, I got that problem of fat fingering the keyboard. She was wheeling and oh man, wait, hold on. When she was wheeling and dealing with uh, Kenji Nakano, she took money from him. So that means she will have to do the case sooner or later to find that bonehead Kasumi. thinks she is a synth. Action right here. Holy moly. out walking his dog. Look at that. Got a 
No, 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 move, move, move. I did it again. I hit the wrong button. Just that charging laser. Ah, I keep doing it. Uh, where's my lever? There we go. Now there's a typewriter. I wonder if that was the Carlisle, the... Cadillac of typewriters. Good. Well, these meat bags always have good stuff. Well, not pelvis bones, but. Alright. <laughs> Another death claw hand. She seems to collect them. Invincible. Ooh. <laughs> then he gets blown away. Ah, <laughs> uh, you gotta love it. Gotta love it. Ooh, what's this? What do we have here? What have we here? Who's in this joint? Uh oh. Ah, she should have approached that a little more cautiously. Ah, that was all my mistake. That was all me. That was all me. Look at that dude. What? Where? Oh! Place where the ghouls like to take naps. Got nothing. Nothing, huh? No upstairs, just okay. Just straight through. Yep. All right, not bad, not bad, not bad. We'll see where we're at right now. National Park. Oh, dude, we're almost there. Okay, we just need to go west. 
So you go west, and then we just need to hit the uh, road. There. Through there. Come on, Devada. Let's go. And whatever this is over here. Oh, this is one of those, um... Uh-oh. How did that dude way over there hear her? Yep, it's gonna have to be a headshot. There's no other way. Go around. Guys, got us a switchblade. She's not down with that, so let's see what's going on up here. In the crow's nest. Nothing. It's drying out fish, I guess. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that? What's, it's about to blow. Something. She have all oh, beer bottles. Speaking of which, <laughs> Stavada's kind of day right there. Let's go ahead. Aid. What do we have here? Bourbon. Yeah, it's a big rope fly too. She get a little sustenance before she continues her day. Sapping it? Yes! Unfortunately, you have to get in there with the children of Adam to actually do anything with sap. And here's the tannery right here. Last Radius board game, the only board game they played in the Commonwealth. Nothing. <laughs> Look at this dude. He's got a silver spoon. I wonder what he uses that for. For shame, Mr. Ghoul. For shame. like grabbing a ghoul's toothbrush, huh? You know, I have never wanted to brush my teeth that bad. To 
use a toothbrush procured from a ghoul. Just no thank you. No thank you. That dude, he thought his day was over. Daddy ghoul too, wasn't it? Where is he? There he is. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. <laughs> what an adorable prize. Look at that. Yep. I know upstairs there's some goodies. So let's go up there and grab those. Yeah. Cap stash. You should not gonna argue with that. Is looking pretty good. What's this? Oh, hide bundles. It's leather, isn't it? I always forget to grab these when I come here. All right, now that she has secured the exterior, let's go ahead and step inside. And Devada is ready to do this thing. So we'll go ahead and continue her sweep and clear of the Eagles Cove Tannery the next time we pick this game up. And we will continue with her adventures afterwards. So thank you guys for watching the show and hanging out. Be sure to keep things weird out there. Take care of yourselves. Later.